Ladies and gentlemen, people have asked, well, why are you supporting Trump? He's an authoritarian. He's a despot. He's a tyrant. Oh my goodness, he's everything nightmares are made of. He's orange. On May 1st, 2021, President Trump de negotiated a deal, which is exactly why I voted for him. Which is exactly why I supported him after supporting Bernie Sanders. I used to be the biggest Bernie Sanders booster on the internet, according to the Huffington Post. I used to be the unofficial scribe of Sanders' most hardcore voters, according to the Washington Post. The reason that I was so uh, passionate about Bernie Sanders is because I thought he would do what Trump did, which was negotiate an end to a never-ending counterinsurgency quagmire that will never end and will never have a defined victory or, or, or a definition of victory. We have been... In one country specifically, and in a region of the world for 20 years, the children of veterans are now engaged in the same uh, conflict as their, their, their parents. So, on May 1st, 2021, President Trump, and this was like early last year, which of course Republicans didn't champion, because the never-Trump Republicans and the Republicans in name only are the Bush-era Lincoln Project imbeciles want us there forever and got us there. So Bush, Cheney, and Rumsfeld got us into an era of never-ending quagmires. And President Obama campaigned and won in part because he was supposed to reverse Bush's foreign policy. That never happened. I voted for President Trump because he did reverse not only Bush's foreign policy, but President Obama's foreign policy. Foreign policy, by the way, has been relegated to uh, Facebook ads. Facebook ads and Twitter bots and uh, interference in elections. This was never seen as national security. We interfere in other people's elections. A whole bunch of countries have, like, it was always common knowledge that you'd have certain countries that wanted Democrats, certain countries that wanted Republicans. Who cares? That didn't, that never affected. Like, there was never any evidence a Facebook ad even influenced one person. And so they indicted 18 Russian intelligence officials based on the work of Company One, which was a third-party tech firm paid, for, pay, paid by Democrats. And then they said, well, we're highly to moderately confident Russia infiltrated the DNC. They were never certain about anything. But here, um, Biden faces Trump's uh, timeline on troop withdrawal. Any way you cut it, we are going to, we are headed for a messy outcome, okay. Uh, U.S. may miss the timeline for withdrawing troops. Biden says, tough to meet May 1st timeline. He's not going to withdraw. Hopefully he withdraws all the Americans stationed there. But you have liberal publications saying uh, President Biden should extend our involvement. You have publications throughout, like political media saying, well, you know, it's really tough to meet that timeline and President Trump. No, no praise for President Trump. This is the, like, hit subscribe to this channel right now. This is what drives me. As whatever I am, a political pundit, a YouTuber, this is what drives me. I wrote about this in, in, on my website, hagoodman.com. You could see my writing, and I have a really wonderful thing to, to unveil to everybody very soon on hagoodman.com. You'll love it. But uh, I'm really excited about it. But there is an, a, 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 a section on my website that talks about that where all my published articles are against counterinsurgency conflicts. In The Hill, The Huffington Post, The Roanoke Times, The Jerusalem Post. I oppose this type 
of Endeavor. I want Americans home. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. I want Americans home from never-ending uh, foreign policy debacles. What, what, what's, what's taking place right now is that this society, this political, the society is not, I'm talking about polit politically, everything is now smoke and mirrors. They, you would think that they were happy. They got what they wanted. No, no, no. Trump's words live on. They never take responsibility. They never say this is Biden's America. They never have a hierarchy of actual goals or objectives. And by the way, I mean, look, like I'm not, I'm not conservative on everything. I'm conservative on a lot of things. I think this is a liberal viewpoint, actually, uh, bringing home Americans. But I'm happy that dreamers are going to become citizens. I'm happy that that is fantastic. For me, I have friends who are dreamers, so I want them to become citizens. I'm hoping they will. Um, but I think the biggest dilemma we face as a country is keeping Americans in harm's way forever and putting our troops in a, in a, in a powder keg in numerous countries. So President Trump brought us out of like, he withdrew Americans from uh, one country, Syria, and then set a timeline to withdraw Americans from another country, Afghanistan. And that should have been a campaign, like, that should have been front and center. It wasn't. His personality, unfortunately, was what Democrats and media and and intelligence operatives and the, the entire machine was against him and he played into it and we had the crisis for the past year a self-induced economic crisis the top 13 13 out of the highest 14 unemployment rates in the country are in democratic run states how is that trump's fault they gleefully ended their economies because science. And then they had the absolute worst outcomes according to the New York Times statistics. Go to the New York Times. One out of every two life lo lives lost were in either New York or California. And both of those governors, especially Cuomo, put uh, infected people in elderly care facilities. New York also has the highest, one of the highest per capita rates. It fluctuates between New York and New Jersey. And God bless the people of New York and New Jersey. Phil Murphy might be even worse than Andrew Cuomo. Might. I mean, they're probably 1 and 1A in terms of the worst governors. Newsom is even better than them, and he's getting recalled. So, why are we not out of a country we've been in for 20 years? Like, the rebuttal is, well, if we leave, then horrible things will take place. That is not, that, is, that actually bolsters the argument to leave. You can't, that, 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 that highlights the fact that we have to be there forever. But the United States military is not a chess piece. You cannot just put a chess piece to just prevent two other pieces from um, interacting. So you, you don't use... You're, it's, it's like you're not using human beings. You shouldn't be able to. You shouldn't use human beings as well. Here we are. We have a small number of Americans, and that's a deterrent. That's not going to be a deterrent forever. And the second, it's not a deterrent. Or I mean, who knows if 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 it is right now? And God bless the men and, and women we've sent through all the all these theaters of conflict who have tried to implement, who've done everything possible to implement the foreign policy uh, of civilian leaders who oftentimes lack wisdom. So you have people who are like, oh, I opposed Bush. Well, you voted for Clinton and Biden. So how much of a hypocrite are you? I mean, you, want, like, you have so many, there's so many, there are so many, not all, but there are so many hypocrites and disingenuous and dishonest people who claim to be morally superior, who vote for Clinton and Biden, knowing, knowing they'll be more hawkish and militant, knowing they'll be more hawkish and militant than even President Obama and certainly more than Trump. And we have Trump who, 
First president to step foot in North Korea, begin detente between North and South Korea, roadmap towards peace. President Moon Jae-in stated that Trump deserved the Nobel Peace Prize. And he doesn't get credit for that. Removed Americans from regions of the world. Set a timeline to, to get us out of a specific country we've been in for 20 years. Never gets any credit. This is exactly what I wanted Bernie Sanders to do. Now you have Bernie Sanders voters who, like, see, when I voted for Trump, I got something out of it. I got numerous. He allocated more funding to historically black colleges and universities than any president ever Trump. Signed an executive order combating anti-Semitism on college campuses. Um, we had record low unemployment throughout most of his tenure. That's a fact. Ripped up the Trans-Pacific Partnership and, and, and began the USMCA. I'm sorry, NAFTA. Ripped up NAFTA and the USMCA. Uh, ripped up the Trans-Pacific Partnership and engaged in tariffs, which is better than the TPP. Um, I mean, he did things like his personality, unfortunately, what took place was his personality became an obsession of people. It actually, it actually warped, it, it turned people's psyches and minds and hearts into these cold places. And I'm talking about <laughs> wonderful, morally superior liberals, where they called up friends and family and said, oh my God, you're... You are now supporting the 1930s and 1940s Germans. I don't want to talk to you anymore. It's like they've convinced themselves of something that doesn't exist. <laughs> they, Democrats in general need to be morally superior. It, they like, get a thrill from it. It's who they are. They can't just, they can't, and, and if you actually give them facts and a, and a reasonable argument and call them out on their hyperbole, it enrages them. <laughs> So there's no point in in getting into a debate. Actually, also, delete your Twitter account. Definitely delete your Twitter account. I deleted mine like three years ago. But ladies and gentlemen, hit subscribe to this channel. I'll have a live stream later this evening. Um, you know, all I can tell you is that President Trump is... President Trump got us out of never-ending conflict... And now you have, or it was trying to, now you have, and now you said, there was one article that said, well, he'll, he'll keep us there till November. Biden is advised by the Lincoln Project type foreign policy advocates, the hawkish militant, and it's funny too, the Lincoln Project keeps yapping its mouth. They're completely disgraced. Even the New York Times has turned on them. Even CNN has turned on them, but they still get retweeted on Twitter, which is the worst platform known to man. The absolute worst platform known to man. And it's a platform geared towards funneling negativity uh, towards one political side, which is why... And they, I mean, $50 million Lincoln Project that went to... They, they, made, they got $90 million in four years from liberal Democrats... And then they allegedly, reportedly, took the money into the to companies that they ran, which is not legal. So they're up the creek without a paddle. I mean, it's like the big picture, why 74 million Americans voted for Trump is completely lost. It's, they, 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 there's a focus only on, on Trump's personality. And it's unfortunate, too, like when you tell somebody, I voted to bring home Americans. They're like, so what? This is the people, like, like liberal Democrats, oftentimes they'll, they'll say, because I've heard it myself, so what? Okay, they're there. They have to be there forever. But it's Trump's personality, and he's an authoritarian and a despot. It's like, did you, not hear, did you not just hear it yourself? Authoritarians and despots don't sign prison reform legislation and, bring, and remove, um, remove troops. Like, they do the opposite of that, which is what Biden did. Biden wrote the crime bill, and Biden wants to keep us there forever, and Biden got us there. We're there because of Biden's vote. You look at it, like, they're talking about all these theories on, uh, on Twitter now. Everything is, like, about a certain type of theory on society. Biden is the epitome of everything negative that they... This is why nobody takes... Nobody takes... Um, 
I should say, like, this is how easy it is to refute certain theories on the world. Biden is the epitome of what the enlightened, the high priests of morality and condemnation, what they think that is negative in our world today. Well, you, you voted for Biden, who wrote the crime bill, and voted alongside Bush, Cheney, and Rumsfeld. So what do you want? Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Biden's keeping their long, uh, us there longer. Trump negotiated a deal to get us out. That's why I voted for Trump. Give me your thoughts. That's a much. That's the biggest dilemma we face as a country. Never-ending military question.